Remember Project Presents Forbidden music during the totalitarian communist regime in Bulgaria. The communist regime considers Western popular music to be an ideological threat, a form of hostile bourgeois influence. With its degradation and degeneration, it deprives young people and alienates them from socialist ideas and norms of life. The ideological fight against Western influence was modeled after the politics of the Soviet Union. In the period 1944-1955, jazz music, and especially swing, was popular among the urban youth growing up between the wars. Communist authorities defined these teens as zozi and swings, bourgeois idlers who live on other people's backs, admirers of the American way of living. Orchestra Jazz of Charov, founded in 1937 by a son of Charov. In 1949, he was imprisoned and then sent to Belene concentration camp. He was released in 1952, but shortly afterwards, in a rigged political trial, he was sentenced to six years in prison. As early as the spring of 1945, they were sent to forced labor camps and by virtue of the labor mobilization law between 1946 and 1950, several thousand young people were sent to seasonal labor camps annually. In the picture, the optimist jazz with conductor Darko Sakalerov during a concert dedicated to the friendship between Bulgaria and the German Democratic Republic, the end of the 1950s. Eddie Kazasian Combo and Lea Ivanova in the late 50s. Lea Ivanova was one of the first Bulgarian jazz and swing singers. In 1949, she was arrested and sent to Nozharevo concentration camp. Until the end of her life, she did not want to remember or talk about the concentration camp. The fight against cosmopolitanism, regarded as the worship of everything Western and liberal, took place between 1946 and 1953 in the USSR and reached its peak in 1949 when some jazz musicians were locked up in concentration camps. Jazz bands fell apart and Soviet music began to dominate the music environment. Akhinora Kumanova is a Bulgarian and German pop singer and the first Bulgarian participant in Eurovision. In 1958, she was arrested and spent 40 days in prison. In 1959, she managed to escape to Western Germany and returned after 1989. Ludmil Gurgiev is a saxophonist and one of the most prominent jazz musicians in Bulgaria. In 1949, fresh out of high school, he was sent to the youth labor camp Chumakovci because a party secretly heard him playing American music. Those were scary times, says the musician. Alexander Nikolov, known by the nickname Sasha Sladura, in English, Sashu the Curie, is a virtuoso violinist and author of jokes ridiculing the authorities. In 1959, he spent seven months in prison. On the 15th of September 1961, he was arrested again, and after spending eight nights in the cells of state security, he ended up in the so-called Sunny Beach labor camp near Lovac. There, he served only seven days after being mercilessly tortured and beaten to death. 
The cause of death is recorded in the death certificate as angina. In the mid-1950s, a new generation that grew up during the war and was still unaccustomed to obedience became fascinated with the new style of rock and roll and its free and rebellious spirit. The young fans of Western music and the American way of life were now called hooligans. The picture showed the rock bands Bandaracite and the Sun Brothers, founded in 1962 and 1965. On the 8th of December 1965, the Sun Brothers were the support band for Bandaracite at the concert in Universiada Hall for National Student Day. Years later, this memorable event will probably play a key role in the creation of one of the most influential Bulgarian rock bands, Sputnik. Bandaracite. Dimitar Ivan Milevi. Kirill Marichkov and Petar Tsankov from 20 to 25 years old. Oh yeah, aha, 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 oh yeah. Hmm, where is this happening? In January and February 1958, 1,400 men and 250 women of those hooligans were imprisoned in Berlin a concentration camp. Some of them were arrested because of dancing modern Western dances or because of wearing duffel coats, tight trousers and fashionable shoes. After October 1959, the arrested were sent to a labor camp near Lovich, notorious for its daily assassinations of prisoners. According to the communist authorities, wearing this kind of coat, which the militia calls Yumurluk, is an act of hooliganism. The attack of the Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev in early 1963 on abstractionism and formalism in the arts against jazz music and contemporary Western obscene dances was also launched in Bulgaria. The target this time were the twist and rock and roll, which allegedly led to degradation of the youth and massive dislocations of the kneecap. The party leader decided that such young people should be forced to work. In the pictures, Srebrnita Grivni, in English, the silver bracelets, on a TV show in 1965, and a moment from the daily life of young people in a forced labor camp. Chick, chick, can I 
1966, decisions were again taken against the negatively impactful and funny Western music. Under Soviet influence, the term fight against the ideological diversion of imperialism displaced the more passive definition of the deterrating effects of Western influence. Pictures of Georgi Minchev and Bandaratite in 1964. In 1967, a special police department was established whose task was to combat ideological diversion and the Persian for Western music and fashion among the youth. This is the so-called Sixth Department of National Security. In the pictures, Pernishki Tebratia, in English Pernik's Brothers, formed in 1962 at the Miners Cultural Center in Pernik, perhaps the first rock band outside of Sofia and Glasuvete, in English, The Voices, formed in 1964. In 1968 and 1969, there were signs of a more open understanding towards Western music. However, during the preparation for the 9th World Youth Festival in Sofia in the summer of 1968, the Politburo took measures to prevent many young Bulgarians who were planning on attending the concert from traveling to the capital. A year earlier, in 1967, Kirill Marichkov and Petr Tsankov from Bandaracite and Petr Guzelev and Veselin Kisyov from Slunchevite Bratje, in English the Sunny Brothers, created Šturcite, in English the Crickets, which became one of the most influential rock bands in Bulgaria. The band's popularity steadily grew to reach its peak in the 1980s. The lyrics are topical, their hard sound and stage presence are modern, and their concert halls are always filled to the full capacity. In the early years, their songs were repeatedly banned and their concerts cancelled. With the death of Petr Guzelev on the 25th of April 2013, the band officially ceased to exist. In 2017, the band reunited to celebrate their 50th anniversary with a big concert. The remaining three members were joined by Ivan Lechev and Slavchunikov. The concert also featured some of the most famous rock bands and musicians in Bulgaria. <laughs> In the 1970s, there were again timid steps towards accepting Western music, but at the same time measures against the penchant for Western music and fashion and against the indecent hippie appearance of Bulgarian youth and foreign tourists were intensifying. Pictures of the first punk band in Bulgaria, The New Flowers, founded in Kustendil in 1979. Starting in the late 1970s, state security tried to impose control on the various youth subcultural groups that became increasingly politicized under the influence of ideological diversion. This included heavy metal fans whom state security considered new fascists and who were the most numerous, with the tendency to increase rapidly. In the pictures, Apocalyptis Band, one of the first heavy metal bands in Bulgaria, formed in 1979 somewhere in the corridors of the French high school in Sofia. Apocalyptis plays mainly in community centers and school festivals. The band remained classified as non-professional due to the existing ideological barriers to the lyrics of the songs, containing metaphors or directly criticizing the lifestyle, culture and appearance of society at the time, which the musicians refused to adopt.
The hippie and punk groups, which were characterized by alienation and demonstrative violation of public order, also fell under the target of state security. Rockers with their defiant leather clothes and noisy bikes also were constantly surveilled. In the pictures, the post-punk band Review and the only album of the legendary punk band Holera formed in 1987, which is called Scare the Child and was released on the market in a yogurt bucket labeled as Sour Milk, in which the cassette was placed. <laughs> Some Western bands were allowed to perform. Rock festivals were allowed and heavy metal clubs were allowed at regional youth centers. At the same time, concerts of young heavy metal bands were stopped, while the audience and the musicians were registered with the police. In the pictures, New Wave and post-punk band Calais formed in 1985 and heavy metal band Trutil formed in 1981 during the first rock festival in Sofia in May of 1987. State security tried to impose complete control over disco clubs, the illegal import of videos and audios and phonographic recordings. They persecute all kinds of spontaneous events in memory of John Lennon, Jimi Hendrix, Jim Morrison, ACDC's frontman Bon Scott, as well as massive gatherings like July Morning and others. In the pictures, the side facades of the Notaris building in Sofia which became a cult place in the 1980s for the memory of John Lennon and other famous Western musicians, and the welcoming of July Morning, which originated as a hippie celebration in Varna in 1980 and remains popular to our days. Despite the communist government's pressure on the music scene, the wind of change is beginning to be felt in Bulgaria. In the pictures, Concurrent formed in 1965 and Sprint formed in 1981. The new wave is rapidly gaining popularity. Young bands appear imposing modern stage behavior and clothing. The sense of freedom in the air is increasing and the democratization of society and opening up to the Western world is becoming an irreversible process. In the pictures, Class formed in 1986 and Review formed in 1988. On 15th of May, 1987, under the watchful eye of the People's Militia, the first rock festival in Bulgaria was held at the Summer Theatre in Sofia. This opened a new page in the history of music culture in Bulgaria. After the fall of the totalitarian communist regime in our country, the Bulgarian music scene is on the rise. The slow and painful transition to the values of democracy gave birth to its new representatives, who continue to defend freedom of spirit and speech with their songs to this day.